how much do I charge? We've talked about not knowing how much to charge and what you should charge and you know it's, it's really simple when you look at it from a formula point of view and it's to me it kind of just you know, it seems so simple now but back then it wasn't. I didn't know all of those things. And the first thing I had to know was what was my cost of doing business. I had set myself up for this hobby that I loved doing 10 years ago and you know I was a bored housewife. I really was. I picked up a camera and I started taking pictures of my child. I studied photography so I could take better pictures of my child. And I wasn't bored being a mum, but I just needed something to do, something that was for me. And back then I never intended, I'm all, back then I probably didn't intend, but back then I had no clue that my business would take me this far if I actually put my mind to it and, and worked in the right direction and got the right information and the right help. So my cost of doing business, you know, it's such a broad area because it ranges from every pen you buy right through to every single piece of photographic equipment that you buy. Your papers, your printers, your computers, your lenses, your laptops even that you travel with, all the leads, the power leads, the internet, the electricity, the telephone, the heating, any heaters that you have, all your props, all your bits and pieces that you fill your studio. I had no clue how much any of that was costing me. Unless you know what it costs to run your business, you're not going to know exactly how much to charge. So I would recommend you write a list, everybody write a list of everything that potentially you use that costs money. You need to factor in your insurances, legal, legal consultations for all your policies and contracts. You need to factor in, if you're a member of an association, what your mo yearly, monthly registrations are. I like to enter print awards. I know roughly an average amount of what it's going to cost me to enter those, what it's going to cost me to print, what it's going to cost me to mat, and what it's going to cost me to post my, my entries. So I have to factor all of that in to my cost of doing business. Then I can claim all of that on tax. So after you've done that and you've listed everything, you then have to know how many sessions can you do per week? How many do you want to do a week? Like whether you want to be full-time, part-time, casual, once a month. You know, it's entirely up to you and your business how often you want to work. I only want to do three sessions a week because I want to do other things. And I have got other things going on at the moment, so it fits perfect. And somebody asked me before, you know, what do I do if my kids are sick? That's fine. I'm only shooting three days a week. I can reschedule, which, which works fine. Most people are really understanding that I am a mum with a camera. I, my children will always come first. And then you have to know how many weeks of the year can you work. If you don't have help with the kids and they're at school, you can't work in school holidays, so you've got to take that into consideration. And then, for example, you come to your formula. So let's just say, this is just a couple of numbers I've plucked out that have made it easy to work out. So your cost of doing business for a year, everything that we've talked about, what does it cost you for certain things? It's roughly $30,000. And then you're going to add on there your salary. So what is your salary that you're going to pay yourself? If, do any of you work for an employer? Do any of you have a job working for somebody else? Nobody does? So if you were to go back to work, to work for an employer, you would expect to be paid for your time. You would be paid a salary. Just like a show of hands, you know, like how, how, who's been paid a salary before? All of you. So how many of you currently pay yourself a salary? One person. Oh, me too. <laughs> it's, it's pretty accurate, really. Like when you talk to photographers in workshops and groups and mentoring sessions, how many people don't pay themselves because they think, oh, well, if I can, you know, my cost of doing business, if I can earn more than that, then that's fine. It's not really. 